Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and another volume of my Central Film Reviews collection. Welcome back everyone. Help yourself to the chocolate biscuits. I'm not a miracle worker, I'm a janitor. From a blank opening screen and simple Michael Clayton, we merge into slow cuts of an empty office complex late at night, with only occasional floors lit and occupied by cleaning staff. In the background is a panicky narration describing a long career for one law firm and how a recent rebirth had changed him after being coated in a patina of shit for the best part of my life. Containing three of my favourite actors, it's quickly become a personal favourite film. So, starting with the star of the show, Michael Clayton, George Clooney. His first appearance comes after a long, moving camera shot, becoming a camera theme for the film as it pans around a poker table. A fixer or janitor of problems, he appears assured and in control, a methodical professional. His persona though is subtly different away from his profession and sometimes brilliantly underplayed by Clooney. There's a backstory of brotherly debts and a love for his son Henry an excellent Austin Williams, but extended close-ups and long lingering shots on Clooney steal the film. A brilliant, assured performance. Karen Crowder, Tilda Swinton. Her first appearance is of a distressed and unsettled woman, panicking and sweating in a toilet cubicle, and what follows is a quickly edited nuance of her personality as we cut quickly between her preparations for a TV interview in her hotel bathrobe and the actual interview itself. Every detail is meticulously prepared for beforehand and executed in front of the cameras. It's a performance, a practice and a detailed preparation as every false smile and stutter step is in time with her narration and in time with the presentation for the camera. Brilliantly shot and edited together, it's Swinton's performance that shines as she's pitch perfect in vastly different settings and scenes throughout. Arthur Edens, Tom Wilkinson. His first appearance, a dual scene with Clooney, sets the bar for this thunderous performance yet again from Tom Wilkinson. In his prison cell, his schizophrenic and panicked portrayal is absolutely riveting. He astounds as he describes 12% of my life and his descent in a seemingly dark world where he has now become Shiva, the god of death. His downward spiral is brilliantly shown, albeit briefly, but also with a very definite showing of his varying mental position, his telephone conversation with Clayton's son Henry very telling, but never more so than in his journey to Times Square his complete satisfaction and happiness shattered by a billboard advertisement. Schizophrenic, frenetic, twitchy and sketchy. A sublime performance from Wilkinson. With Sidney Pollack, excellent in support as Marty Bark, a beautiful mournful hum of a music score from James Newton Howard and excellent editing from brother John Gilroy. This debut cinematic feature from director Tony Gilroy is a joy. Never rushed at exactly two hours, which is a perfect length for the story and indeed the storytelling. With a twisted narrative from the very beginning of the film, it runs at its prescribed pace, is stylish and brilliantly shot by director of photography Robert Ellswit. At times the film is redolent in constant shadows and reflections, and a sublime metaphor for the film as a whole. The timing and pace of the film is key too, with so much information and character building in the background, with conversations becoming a narration and vice versa, the film moves at a good pace and engages you from the very beginning. Every character has an obvious duality, yet subtle subplots have to be picked apart and a first act that is breathless at times and near flawless. A prolific writer, this debut director performance is brilliant from Gilroy, showing a real love for his writing creation and a real eye for a meticulously drawn out scene. 
As above, some of the flourishes are subtle but allied to four outstanding performances. This is a treat of a film and a first class directorial debut film from Gilroy, which rightfully garnered both him and his stars seven Oscar nominations. Gilroy himself was nominated in the Best Picture, Best Director and Best Original Screenplay categories and James Newton Howard's beautiful musical score was also nominated. All three main stars were also nominated, with George Clooney as Best Actor in a Leading Role, Tom Wilkinson as Best Actor in a Supporting Role and Tilda Swinton winning as Best Supporting Actress. What better recommendation could you have? It truly is a wonderful film that may well surprise you. And the sun's come out, hooray! And that was Michael Clayton, directed by Tony Gilroy. And I live in peace, and in solidarity, and with the sunshine, on the 27th of October 2023, hooray! Thanks very much for watching, I appreciate you being there. I appreciate you watching this blooming madness. Thanks for being here everyone. See you again soon. Peace.